There should be one common theme in these community gatherings, that the underlying purpose of Memorial Day is to remember, to pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice on our behalf, and in our case, whose names are engraved in the memorial behind me. We also pay tribute to those others who have served in the armed forces and returned to their communities, and to those who are currently serving in some capacity. As will be evident when you listen closely to General Logan's Memorial Day orders and the Gettysburg Address, Geneseo's exercises are meant to preserve the memories of our heroes, to memorialize them. We sometimes get caught up in the hoopla of the day, whether it be a chicken barbecue or our annual parade, our only parade, a very unique parade. We look forward to the first appearances in Geneseo of the bands from the Geneseo Central School and the Genesee County Christian School, the Scouts, the Little Leaguers, and of course, the Geneseo Fire Department. We relish in the opportunity to visit with one another to exchange greetings with friends and neighbors as we have emerged from our winter hibernation for this very special occasion. But we must keep in mind who it is that has organized these exercises and who is leading our parade and should be the focus of our attention. The officers and members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars post 5005 and the American Legion post 271. These men and women care enough about preserving our tradition and honoring their predecessors that they march down Main Street and back, closely followed by those veterans who now prefer the comfort of a vehicle. These are the men and women we are remembering and honoring today. For those who have served in the Armed Forces Service and our country, risking their lives for our liberty. Thank you for those who have given their lives in service to our country giving themselves in such a costly way for sake of others. Thank you for a day set apart, not just for celebration, but also for solemn remembrance. As we consider our services of so many in our military, we pray today for the families and friends of those who have given their lives in the service of the nation. May they be comforted in their sadness. May they be proud of those they have lost in trusting their ultimate fate into your gracious hands, even as we remember those who have given their lives in the past. We also thank for those lives are at risk today, men and women who are serving in this country and around the world in places of conflict and violence. Protect them, encourage them, bring them home safely and soon. We have always buried our heroes with ceremony. Whether it was a victim of the war or a veteran that's grown older, we still give them military rights. I grew up in World War II. As I became in like junior high school, we, the, the World War II was over. They were bringing our dead back from overseas. We would get the word that one was going to be coming in on the train, which that was the mode of transportation then. We would all go down to watch them take the body off the train with a flag draped casket. I will never forget that. But there was great ceremony there too. We always had a band. We had a choir and a minister. And as he followed his route to his final resting place, there was always ceremony. Every morning when you get up, you say to yourself, I will thank a vet today because the respect for a veteran does not lessen in time. When you are riding around today on Memorial Day and go by the cemeteries, and you see the flags flying, just think, freedom is never free. When you look behind me and see the names on this wall, just think, all gave some, some gave all. 
lest we never forget. Thank you. May God bless you, and may God bless our nation.